There's one. There we go. What's poppin'? I never say what's poppin', so I kind of thought it would be fun to say what's poppin'. Today I'm fly fishing. That's right, a lot of you have asked me to do it. Well, today I'm back at this little smallmouth bass creek, and we are going to try to catch some small jaws on a fly. I'm super excited about that. I gotta hike through this brush to get back to the water, but once we get down there, we're gonna start smashing them, hopefully. Let's rock and roll. Time to head into the jungle. My keys and my fanny pack. That's right, it is a fanny pack fishing challenge as well. I hope I'm not walking through like straight poison ivy. Almost ate it, but we're making it down to the river. I'm already seeing some fish. That looks like a really, really small, smallmouth bass. Okay, good, good, good. There's life here. I have not fly fished in a very long time. So for those of you who are like legit fly fishermen, don't judge me, okay? First things first, we gotta remember how to cast. Not bad. If you'll recall from that last video that I fished this river in, I'm in a different location, but it's the same river. Predominantly a lot of small, smallmouth bass. I don't necessarily expect any tanks today, and that's totally okay. I'm also, when it comes to fly fishing, a lot more comfortable with something I just drift. I'm just not used to working like a streamer at all. So I never know if I'm doing it right. I'm starting to feel a lot more confident in my casting. I'm also starting to feel a lot better about where I'm fishing. I have nothing but confidence there are fish here. If I have to switch to something else, I'll switch to something else. If I get about six inches deeper, you're gonna hear me squeal like a pig. Don't be alarmed, that's just part of waiting. I just don't have a lot of confidence in working this streamer. I am gonna try a popper. I do not like the weight of this popper. It's hard to cast, but I love the way it pops. I guarantee if I get bit on this thing, my hook set's gonna be laughable. What a cast. Come on. Oh, I've got followers. Definitely saw a small mouth or two follow it. They were really small, but that's okay. Oh, no! Back in there. Daggummit, I finally had a bite. I knew I was gonna botch a hook set. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that freaked me out. That was sick. Come on, smash that. Man, all this work and I've had one dang blow up. Working my chip. Oh, of course. Yeah, I think that's a sign. I'm taking the stupid popper off. One of my good high school buddies slash grade school, Kyle, he uh, tied me up a couple flies, Clouser minnows, and um, he sent them to me. So I appreciate you, Kyle. I'm gonna put on one of these because he said it's something he's really confident in. I'm gonna sm actually throw the smallest one um, just because I think I'll be able to cast it better. All right, Clouser minnow. This is gonna be the one, boys. Oh, this is much heavier. I like this. I'm for sure gonna smash some small jaws on this. This is like the streamer except a little heavier yet. For the first time, I actually feel somewhat confident. There's one, there's one. Got him, all right. That did not take me very long. All right, just a little guy. He's all wrapped up in my line. Look at that. Dude, they pull so hard. This is awesome. This is exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what I wanted. The old Clouser minnow is what got him. Thank you, Kyle, my high school buddy. All right, dude, you're so cute. I love you. see ya. Man, that's sick. Dude, I'm so pumped. Oh my gosh, one just jumped. There's one, two in a row, two in a row, come on. I am such a rookie. I am such a rookie and I'm not gonna act like I'm not. This is so sick. They're small, but man, they fight so hard in this current. I love this so much, guys. I love this so much. This is absolutely the way you should be fishing for these fish. All right, they're smashing this thing. I have a feeling they're really feeding on small minnows in here. Okay, chill, 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 buddy. Chill, I'm gonna get you off. Gorgeous fish, see ya. I'm stoked. We're gonna smash him now that I've got something. Oh my gosh, he ate it! I was getting ready to pull it up for another cast and he came and smashed it. Oh my gosh, dude, smallmouth bass are freaking awesome, especially in beautiful rivers like this. God, just a little chungus. Little chungus on the clouser. All right, homie, thank you so much for that little fight. Oh my gosh, I love smallmouth bass, guys. You know, one fish that I actually totally want to fish for is the red-eye bass down in the south, down in Alabama or something. You know, one of my favorite things about this clouser minnow is I can pretty much see it my entire cast. You know what actually has me low-key super surprised? The fact that I'm three for three on my hook sets. Ooh. Okay, I've reached the squeal point 
of the river. Got a little cold there for a second. There's one. There we go. Just a little absolute dink. Smallest one yet. Kind of a weird hook set. Got him in the bottom of the lip. Chill, buddy. All right. Team dink for the win. Whoa, he just swam like straight through my legs. That was a very strange feeling. Not sure I liked it. Oh my gosh. No. I looked backwards and I went to make another cast and something tugged it. I think one of these with just a little bit of chartreuse flash would be crazy deadly for smallmouth too. I think the white's completely fine because this water's so dang clear, but if it got a little dingy, I feel like one with just a hair. Oh, one just came and smashed it. Oh, I was gonna say just a little bit of chartreuse in there for when the water dingies up, I have a feeling would be insane. Okay, so there's some kayakers behind me and I kind of ran up to this spot because I knew it was coming up and I really wanted to make sure I fished it. This is the spot that I actually fished in my recent video when I came out here. I just approached it from a different angle. There's one. I knew I'd get one right there. Oh gosh, no! My line slipped. There's a fish. All right, that feels pretty good. All right, there we go. Yes, sir. This current is insanity. Man, that was sweet. It takes a little more skill to fish this spot. I feel like it's hard. It's really hard to keep your line like out of the water. All right, see you, buddy. And if you put your line in the water, it immediately gets flushed downstream and you don't want that. So it's definitely a lot more technical fishing. You know, if I was an advanced fly angler, I'd probably be smashing fish like crazy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on. There, oh, missed him. There's fish. I knew one had it. I didn't even feel a bite. I just knew one would have it in that location. It was too good of a cast. Oh. That's one way to release them. Oh man, this is fun. This is fun. I got to regroup here for a second. Okay, I know it's noisy here because we're obviously in heavy current, but man, this is so sick. I'm having so much fun. I am not going to act like I'm a good fly fisherman. I clearly am not, but you can't expect to be super good at something if you never do it. So that's why we're here, trying to get a little bit better and having a lot of fun at the same time. All right, let's see if we can catch some more smallies. Hopefully I can get into one a little bit bigger, but overall, if I catch six inch smallies all day, I'm a happy camper. There we go. Just a little guy. It's hard to pull him up in the current, man. Oh, I hooked him. Foul hooked him. He must have swiped at it. Doesn't change the fact that he's a beautiful fish. I throw him over there. Only reason is because there's less current right there and that way he can swim back up to his spot. Oh, I definitely saw one swipe at it. I pulled it away from him. The amount of fish I've caught here versus the amount of fish I should have caught here is kind of pathetic. I'm headed back downstream. I'm still gonna fish for quite a while. I've just got some other water I wanna fish. There's fish. Oh man. I was literally pulling it up for another cast and he just ate it. That's the second time that's happened. Ooh. Oh gosh. Another pretty little smallmouth, man. This place is full of them. There's probably big fish in this river somewhere. My guess is the big general stretch that I'm in is just, you know, dank city. If there was some monsters in here, I feel like I would at least see them from time to time. Oh, dadgummit, I overreacted. I pulled it right out of his mouth because I set the hook like a crazy, there he is. He came back for it. Either that or it's just another one. I mean, the population's ridiculous, so, oh. Oh, that was weird. He swam right by some situations. That was a weird, weird feeling. There we go. I'm getting more comfortable with this thing. I can sling it a good distance. I feel like I've got the action down as far as how to work it. My hook sets haven't been too bad. Come on, mister. Oh my gosh, no. Oh, no. Why did I yank it out of his face? There, no. He's coming back for it. Come eat it again. Come eat it again. It was not a bad fish. Probably a little 12 incher, which at this point would easily be my biggest fish. Sometimes I overreact when I see him bite like that. Jaw, small, jaw, small, jaw, small. Oh my lord! Oh, 
gosh, he just torqued it. All the experienced fly fishermen are probably watching this video just like, this dude's an idiot. And that's okay, you can think that, because I pretty much am a fly fishing idiot. But I tell you what, I'm still having fun out here. For all the people who have been watching my channel for a long time, you've seen me fly fish a time or two. Not often, but I've done it. A couple times back in Arkansas, obviously I had that trip to uh, Montana last year, or a year and a half, two years ago. Come eat. Oh, oh gosh, dang it. Why have I missed the last 17 fish? Living in a river, I feel like, is the equivalent of a human, like, living outside in 30 mile an hour winds at all times. Like, what would you do? You would hide behind a barn or hide behind a hay bale. I don't know why I'm assuming that you live on a farm, but you would hide behind something, is my point. So that's the same thing these fish do. They hide behind boulders, they hide behind trees, they hide behind just specific current breaks, whatever. You gotta keep that in mind. Oh my Lord, no! Why have I missed 17 fish in a row? 18, 200, I don't know. I missed a lot of fish. He came bolting out of there, smashed it, but he didn't eat it. I need to get step my game up. There's one, there we go. God, I love these fish, you gotta love them. How many times have I said, oh, I love these fish? Probably every fish. There we go, this is an interesting way of catching a fish, but I'm doing it, doing it this way. All right, buddy, let's get an epic underwater release of this guy. Hey, look at that, chomped it. I got a good hook set on him. Oh, dude, somebody's in a freaking John boat. Please don't run me over. Clouds are minnow for life, baby. There we go. Ugh. Good hook set. I don't know how I felt that bite, but I did somehow. That was pretty sweet. Chill, chill, chill. Man, that was a great hook set. Had him right in the top of the noggin. Oh my gosh. I'm delivering some sweet casts. I'm a big fan of like this sideways fly cast. Not sure what it's called, but it's fun. I gotta go catch some largemouth on this now. Yeah, this is how I like to cast. Sideways. Let's go, smallies. Yeah. I've gained so much confidence in the fly, and I love whipping this clouser minnow around. You can really just fish hard and aggressive. All right, that was a freaking blast. Fly fishing's awesome. I don't know why I don't do it more. Today was absolutely fun. I think the big thing about this fishery is just how beautiful it is. It's just such a pristine, amazing river. It's super shallow, clear water, and smallmouth just roam free everywhere. I definitely wanna keep fishing like this. I'm hoping that I can get a few more chances to do this before summer's over. I mean, shoot, time goes by so dang fast. You know, I think the moral of the story is that the fanny pack is serving me well. Thanks, buddy. I don't know, folks. I think I'm just kind of rambling again. I feel like I need to go home and eat some lunch. What should I eat for lunch? Maybe like a turkey sandwich? Pretty much what I eat for lunch almost every single day. I'm an easy dude when it comes to lunch. A sandwich and maybe some chips or carrots or something. I'm a happy camper. Okay, that's enough about my lunch. Y'all have a good day. We'll catch you next time.